Netflix share prices have fallen by 37%. A lot needs to be done in order to correct it. Well, something that they are doing really well is implementing MLOps. MLOps is gaining a lot of popularity. What exactly is MLOps? Wait, before we start the discussion, let me show you a small graph. Since I'm speaking a lot about this term MLOps, well, MLOps as a term was coined by Google in 2018. MLOps is a combination of machine learning plus DevOps and it's basically a core function of machine learning engineering. It essentially focuses on streamlining the process of taking machine learning models to production and then maintaining and monitoring them. This essentially is MLOps. If I show you how popular MLOps is becoming, then here is a chart of Google Trends for the keyword MLOps. Before 2018 before the term was coined there was literally no buzz about this word called as mlops but after 2018 the word has caught on and you can see the total amount of searches that are happening for mlops so this is where mlops is gaining a lot of popularity now that we know that mlops is gaining a lot of popularity let me now go forward and show you the newest book that i have in my collection that i've gone through and this book is something that you can refer to start your journey in mlops So now without wasting any further time let me show you the book In order to understand MLOps better I happened to stumble upon a book called as Machine Learning Engineering with Python written by Andrew And this book is all about how to manage the production life cycle of machine learning models using MLOps with practical examples. Let me now show you the content of the book. So you have various sections in the book. You have an introduction to ML engineering, the machine learning development process. The next stage is machine learning development and deployment. how do you create models how do you tune it how do you create better models using auto ml how do you create packages so that you can use it later on what are the different deployment patterns tools how do you scale up a particular model that you have deployed once the fundamentals are clear then the author takes you through building an example of a machine learning microservice which is where you create a machine learning model deploy it on cloud and then create a microservice out of it finally you will also be building an extract transform machine learning use case wherein you will develop the entire pipeline that you would want to monitor after the machine learning model processes happened as well so there are tons of exciting chapters that you can definitely go through and learn more about the mlops process let me take you through the pages as well so here are some of the sample chapters I had a chance to go through the entire book and it's been a really enriching experience in terms of understanding the whole MLOps process. Machine learning engineering with Python is an extremely easy to read book wherein you end up learning how to deploy end to end machine learning models. The book is comprehensive and the concepts are presented in a very simplified manner so that you are able to understand it really well. The initial part of the book also gives you a clear definition of who a data engineer is. who a machine learning engineer is and who a data scientist is so that is really good for people who want to understand the different job roles data drift as a concept is also very common with respect to machine learning models how do you automate the task to actually handle such data drift is also very well presented the book also highlights some industry practices that are followed for mlops so that is also a must read section according to me so if you ask me I would highly recommend this book Machine Learning Engineering with Python to people who are in the data science DevOps ecosystem so that they are able to better understand what MLOps as a concept is and how organizations can better utilize different technologies so that they can constantly deploy monitor and maintain different machine learning models Well this is all that I had in today's video I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching the video Thank you.